Hello, 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 hello. Happy Tuesday. Joshua, Hi. I have news. I have news. an update. Well, you already know this was an update for people in the chat. Okay. I have a Twitter stalker. You do? Congratulations. I, I know. I have a stalker. And I wasn't actually going to talk about it publicly because it's been going on for several weeks, at least a couple of weeks. I don't even know when it started exactly. But it's been going on for a couple of weeks. And I was kind of trying to get Twitter to actually do something something about it mm -hmm. but since now it has become crystal clear to me that twitter is completely okay with people on their platform harassing people like me and they are not going to do anything about it i figure we just talk about it out in the open and just like you know whatever um so so i originally thought so the twitter stalker came up um does anyone in the chat know who vosh is Perchance, oh, Vosh, 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 Vosh that mother. Stalker. Okay, so here's what happened to bring everyone up to speed on the thing with Vosh. So, like a couple of months ago, I didn't even know when this happened. Vosh did this debate with Sargon of Akkad, and he was like this uppity, persnickety kid who didn't know what he was talking about at all when it came to the effectiveness and the resiliency and, the, and all this stuff about co ops, right? Co ops are his big thing. And he started talking like an organizational psychologist. That it is what a co-op? Co 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 is essentially like a business structure where um, where employees own parts of the company. And Bosch's contention is that is going to produce much more productive and happy employee experiences. And, you know, there's there's some validity to it, but he also got a lot of stuff wrong. And so being as this is actually what I do for a living, I made a video responding and saying, Bosch is wrong and he's stupid. And here are the reasons why he's stupid. And I just put the video up and and eventually it made its way back to him. And then he did a video debunking it, which you were in charge of watching because I didn't want to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so you got to see it. I have still to this day I have no idea what it's like. But he basically did this video where he sent all of his minions after me. And you know, I gotta tell you, it was really annoying for a couple of days. And I ended up go ahead. Can I just stop you there? Yeah. I did see the video and he did say to challenge you to a debate. And he did tell them not to be, I don't know how he said this, but I know that he told them not to like be mean in some words. So oh. just to, just to let you know, he could have he could have been like, I want you to terrorize this woman. And he didn't. I mean, and, and to be fair, they haven't really terrorized me. So maybe, you know, maybe they followed yeah. orders. I don't know. But they were really annoying for a couple of days. Mm -hmm. And and in the midst of that, this fake Twitter account with my name and my image. And no, I'm not going to tell you what it is. You have to go find it yourself. Um, popped up and started tweeting about me. And I'm like, what the hell is this? And I thought it was one of his minions at first. and then. It just it's kept a parody account. It's a parody account in which they parody pretend they're account. Me, yeah, they're pretending they they're me. Which is so complimentary. But, it, but it's, it's like, it's, it's so not funny though. Like, here's my big problem with this account. It's not funny. It's not funny at all. If it was funny, I would have be having a ball with this, but it's not funny. It's just like very, it's like leftist fucking humor that is not funny to anyone but leftists. That's what it is. And so I originally thought that this account was one of Vosh's minions. And this account's tweeting about me like several times, like literally every single freaking day. Mm -hmm. and, and and I thought, you know what? These kids are lazy because they really are. They're lazy. And I was like, they're going to wear themselves out, like whatever. And then it just kept going. And I was like, is this not them? Is this? And then I thought, is this someone from higher education? Like one of my friends before, because mm -hmm. Every once in a while, they would tweet things. I was like, they know me, but then they would tweet stuff that like wasn't. They it was clear to me that they didn't know who I was because they were tweeting things that were not out of the were not relevant at all. And then I was like, this got to be someone in knitting because we have one. Well, we already know I've got a, a knitting stalker with bitchy knitter. Like she stalks me all the time on Twitter. So I was like, bitchy knitter has created this parody account, and it's it's her leftist type of humor. So that like I know that's why it's not funny. But then I was looking at it over the weekend and you kind of confirmed this as well because you've seen Vosh's videos. I'm looking at this account and I'm like, this sounds like him. Like it just sounds like him. And so I am about 99% sure now that this account is not one of Vosh's minions, but Vosh himself who is stalking me on Twitter literally every single day and tweeting unfunny nonsense about me. And I'm like, what in the hell is even going on? Joshua, what do you think? 
Uh, I think he likes you. I think he likes you. I think K I S S I N G, <laughs> Kylan and Vosh. Oh, uh, and that I'm a married woman. I'm a married woman, Joshua. That is not happening. But he's, he's, he's it doesn't keep him from from developing feelings. I guess. But like, listen, all he all this guy wants is to debate me. Like he wants to he wants me so so bad, Joshua. Mm-hmm. You know he does. <laughs> Oh, Pablo's got a super chat. Pablo says, you've already given Vosh more time than he deserves. I know, but I just can't get over this stupid Twitter account. Like, the motivation, Joshua, here's here's what I don't understand. Like, the motivation of someone to literally read every single tweet that I send, and not even just the tweets, but also the replies to the retreats. Okay, if I was going to do that, which I think is just, I think it's a brilliant idea, but of course you're going to pull from the person's uh, repertoire you're going to pull from their tweets their replies so you can parody that so that does make sense like if you're going to make fun of somebody but, you need that source material well that's fine but it's like every single day multiple times a day for weeks just like the motivation of someone what would drive someone to be a twitter stalker to that extent like what is the motivation behind that um well, of course, I think it differs for different people, but I think that the fact of the matter is, and I can say this because I, I did see the Vosh video uh, rebuttal to the rebuttal, I guess. Um, I think that you really got under his skin. That was what I got when he was um, doing the video about you. And it just seemed to be very um, bothersome. Like you could tell that he was, it was more than just an opportunity to do a video. Like he seemed rather irritated. And I think that... Um, And I think that, yeah, I think obviously he has a bone to pick with you. But again, just to to give you the balance of this, you fired this first shot. I I take responsibility for firing the first shot. I did not expect. I have to admit. Start start something. Then don't expect. Every reaction has an equal and opposite. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Listen. I, I take responsibility for firing the first shot. Yeah. I did not think that his motivation for revenge would be so high that he would literally stalk every single thing that I said on Twitter. Like that that's it's like I mean, I'm sorry, but that, I think that that is flattery. Like they say imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. No, no. Creating a parody account and stalking somebody on Twitter, that might be the sincerest form of flattery. I Maybe. Think. Well, you you often said to me that the reason that uh, Trump won the election was because he was getting all the attention from people. Right. And it doesn't even matter if it's negative or positive. He was getting right. all that attention. Yeah, energy is energy. Now, if he let that attention break him, then maybe he wouldn't have won. But I think he learned early on that, you know, just like a little kid, and he's a Gemini. Gemini is the, the natural toddler of the Zodiac. Attention is attention, just like, you know, a little kid. Even if I'm being yelled at, at least I'm being paid attention to. So, All yeah. right. So at least, I'm, at least I'm being paid attention to. I have one secret <clears throat> admirer on the internet. Hey, that's one more than a lot of pe- other people have. You know what? Bosh did. Parody, on. To be parody, I am sorry. But when you are parodied, you have arrived. You have arrived. So... Listen, I would say, though, again, I have to say, like, it's not a funny parody account. Like, if, if Bosh, if you want me to send you to improv class, man, I will send you to improv. I will pay for it myself. <laughs> um, Bosh, you see, when someone needs to find out Bosh's birthday, though, because we can psychic Bosh's chart and put it next to mine and see what's going on. If someone, if Ooh. someone on the internet finds Bosh's birthday, including preferably time and location of birth, now that would have to be his stalker. <laughs> we'll do we'll do some psychic tree. I'm sure he has one or two. I mean, come on. Um, so hi Vosh. If you're watching, I know you want me. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, welcome to the most unconventional introduction to nothing remotely controversial ever. We've already talked about something controversial, so we've already broken the rule of our own show, Joshua. Uh, I know, I know it's my fault. It's my fault.